He told the story of some victims who were envenomated but lived. But none of these animals actually wants to kill you. So what's in it for them? Why are they so over-armed? We reveal the answer and at the same time discover the single most poisonous animal on Earth. We got a helicopter coming in, Sheriff's Air Rescue, um, with a possible snake bite. Dr. Sean Bush is an emergency physician who specializes in venom. We get about 20 snake bites here a year. Sean is about to witness the worst rattlesnake case of his life. 23-year-old Pippin Graves tried to pick up a rattlesnake. He's been bitten on the hand. Now, 50 minutes later, he arrives at hospital. The paramedics fight to keep him alive. And they said it was a solid fight. His windpipe is constricted, so he can't breathe. Yeah, it would be like Angela His hand is starting to swell and turn black. He's got some fasciculations down here. Did y'all give him a paralytic? Just sucks. To get him breathing, Sean prepares to administer the largest dose of anti-venom ever given by a doctor in America. The snake's own venom is used to create antibodies. This anti-venom is injected back into Pippi. The antibodies should bind directly to the venom molecules and neutralize them. The anti-venom works. He can now breathe. And the immediate life-threatening danger is over. And you can run that that's half a liter. But all this time, the venom has been destroying the muscles in his arm. He needs surgery. Six hours later, doctors open his arm to relieve the pressure and try to save the limb. Will they succeed? We'll find out later. <laughs> 